Good evening, everyone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome back to the kitchen table. My voice is gone. <coughs> now, if I was professional, I'd edit that out, but I'm not. So, yes, welcome back. Uh, tonight on the kitchen table, a very quick video, which has been a, um, uh, a viewer request. So, uh, we'll, we'll do that. Um, let me just have a quick sip of this. Excuse me. Mm. Oh, <clears throat> that's better. Must be the excitement. So, yes. Quick video request um, from somebody who is about to take ownership of a shiny new Vision Plus. And uh, a bit like I did before I got my Vision and my P2 has read everything. Um, he used to fly um, um, RC helicopters, the big 500 size T-Rexes and stuff. Um, so he's not unfamiliar with RC. But one of the things he's sort of read about and has got slightly confused about, he wants to put his straight into NASA mode. Uh, to get the uh, additional features, and that's his decision. Um, but he's been he's been sort of concerned about the CSC mode, which is the, obviously the the um, motor arm and disarm. Now, if you're in standard vision mode, then obviously, as you know, bring the sticks together towards the centre, and the motors start. No problem. Um, I'm in NASA mode, and so you actually have two methods, sorry, four, four methods now of doing that. So as well as sticks together, sticks apart works. And both sticks to one side. And both sticks to the other side. So the question I was asked was that, well, you know, what happens if, if, if I do one of those commands in the air? Yes, your motors will switch off. Uh, it is true, and you can reactivate them immediately. Um, but yeah, if you do it in the air, uh, the, the thing is though, you're going to have to be doing some very advanced um, and probably dangerous maneuvers in order to be able to go have the throttle fully off, to be pirouetting full speed to the right, uh, and to be uh, going full tilt backwards and as fast as you can over to the left, or or a combination of those. That's going to be some sort of major catastrophe you're trying to avoid there. So it's pretty much unlikely to happen. Um, I have, although I've changed, I just find the one that I learned from day one sticks together. It's fine. Now, that was a nice demonstration of one of the things that I think people should, if they, I still see a load of people also using a CSC to shut down at the end of a flight. Now, if you do that, and you don't move the sticks in the correct sequence, you will get a little run. Did you hear that little buzz when I did it? Listen again when I use the CSE to shut down the motors. <laughs> Lots of people get tip overs because what's happening is as they're moving the stick, the, the, the rotor wants to give a full a full correction and it's gonna tip itself and you know bango your props. So two things to do to prevent that. Um, the easiest one, and the one that I do, is if you're going to shut down, do not use a CSC to shut down. Just simply hold down the throttle. One, two, three. And that's it. That's what I also do when I'm hand catching because I've got a spare hand to, to hold, one hand to hold it down. No tip overs, no issues. You have to wait a little bit. Um, if you want to do the CSC to shut down, maybe it's kind of an emergency, what you need to do is make sure that you move the throttle down first, down and across, and then do the other stick. You won't get that runaway. So, ready, like that. Down and across, rather than bringing them both, and you won't get. So let's have a look at the difference again. Ready, together at the same time. Wow. So you're gonna get a tip over potentially there as one spools up too fast. Let's do it again. Moving the throttle down and across first. Even then there was a little one. Um, so yeah, but again, yeah. So you've got to go a definite down and then bring both across. Um, it's going to be easy to do that. So that's how the CSC command works. Uh, for those of you that haven't, if you have got your <laughs> Phantom and you haven't worked that out yet, you'll have had a very boring time because you won't have got off the ground. But I still see a lot of people shutting the motors down using a CSC and, and you're risking a tip over, unless you've got the knack of pulling that down. I would just hold the throttle for a count of three and everything will stop. Hope that was useful to the person that requested it. Um, and uh, we'll be back on the kitchen table with some more bits and pieces soon. Cheers. <laughs>